this. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a hoodie. Travel pillow. I mean, come on, it's in house. You're rocking my world with this. Like, good morning, everyone. So, for today's video, I have a full blown collection review. The last time we did something like this, I think it was for the Sailor Moon. ColourPop collection. So Etude House launched their Heart Blossom Spring Summer collection recently. I reached out to them and asked them to send me the products. <laughs> First and foremost though, I have to say, this is the spring and summer collection and it's fairly new, but they've launched like two or three other eyeshadow palette based collections, which I'm kind of confused on because there's so many eyeshadows, part of me is like, Huh? What's going on here? They have the Play Color Eyes Mini now. They've got a Play Color Eyes Latte collection. And Tude House loves their coffee themes and strawberry themes, I have to say. So yeah, but like I said, I'm gonna be going over the Heart Blossom palettes. I did apply all of them to my eyes and did a short demonstration of each of them so you guys could see the color payoff, the textures of the eyeshadows, and also how they perform on the eyes. So there will be that in this video, so this is gonna be a thorough one. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the products. Which I have all of them on my face right now. So the first product I'm gonna be talking about is the UV Double Cut 50 SPF PA Quadruple Plus. This is the sun gel that they launched with this collection. And I've tested this out now for a couple days and I have some thoughts, but just to go over the basics of this, this is retailing for $13. All the prices that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video are based off their international website. It offers UVA and UVB protection, hence the PA Quadruple Plus. And it has Centella Extract Aloe Vera Leaf, Bambusa Vulgaris Water, which I looked up. Evidently it's bamboo, bambusa, makes a lot of sense. First thing I noticed was this has a lovely texture to it. It definitely stays true to that chemical sunscreen format. It's very easy to apply. It's non-sticky. It doesn't give you a white cast. So the application of this is pretty much beautiful and flawless. Like it doesn't really feel like you have anything on your skin because it's that lightweight. However, another thing that I noticed right off the bat was this is heavily fragranced and they do have fragrance added in this. So I don't love that. I don't know why we need like perfumey sunscreens. Evidently we do. But if that doesn't bother you, then that's total personal preference. Put you back in the box. Yes, I'm back to saving my boxes. I'm getting better about it, you guys. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow palettes themselves. Now there's a decent amount to go over with these eyeshadow palettes, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the B-roll of me applying the eyeshadow palettes to my eyes as I'm talking. Now this collection has four different eyeshadow palettes. These retail for about $20 a piece, and there are six eyeshadows in each of the palettes. Now in total, there are three different finishes in each of these palettes. There are glitter, shimmer, and matte finishes. The glitters are a jelly texture glitter meaning that they are slightly more sticky so that as you're applying the glitters onto your eyelids there's obviously a little stick and more adherence there as far as the palettes themselves go we have number one beige blossom now beige blossom is actually one of the two palettes I'd recommend from this collection at least one of the favorites of mine. And this is basically <laughs> your run of the mill neutral colors. The shades themselves are obviously a very warm color family. And I find that these are dark enough that they'll actually show up on my skin tone. If you're curious, I'm about an NC 20 to 25 in MAC foundations or in my NARS foundation, I am Punjab, Punjab. I never get that right. <laughs> I kind of showed you guys in the B-roll. You can see it has a little bit of that softer texture to it. So some of these shimmers and glitters do have a little bit more give to them. They're a little bit of a creamier texture. Again, that's to improve the adherence and also just to make them look shinier and glitterier. Now I'm very happy with the mattes in this specific palette. I found that they blended well. They didn't get muddy on my eyes and I just really like this palette overall. Again, I get some points to this because it shows up on my eyes. I'm happy with the formulation and the whole color family is something I typically gravitate towards. Now moving on to the next palette, we have number two, Coral Blossom. Now this is definitely a very tangerine colored palette. The two bronzes in it, I'm not gonna lie, they're somewhat similar. The colors themselves are 
okay. I find that this bright tangerine color, Miss Vitamin, is very nice and pigmented. However, I, I have to say, like, I'm not impressed by this palette in particular. I don't know, sometimes with the Tude House, I find that these shadows are really hit or miss. I felt like I used to see a lot more consistency with the formulations. Now I feel like I'm seeing a lot more crumblier eyeshadows that don't show up as much. I don't love the glitter in this palette and to be honest like I don't love these chunky glitter eyeshadows in any palette I wouldn't recommend this palette specifically I mean if you're obsessed with these colors fine I do have a little bit of this miss vitamin underneath my lash line in this video so you can see the colors do show up but it's just nothing I'm super impressed with now the third palette is called pink blossom and this is actually the other eyeshadow palette that I wasn't in love with which was a shame because I like the colors in this palette and they look like they were going to be super pigmented. It did again have that middle glitter color which is in popcorn blossom that's that jelly glitter texture. I just I don't love those in general and I found that the eyeshadow in strawberry latte didn't really show up on my skin tone. The shimmers in this are Eh. and the mattes are just kind of whatever so again for $20 I just don't think that this palette is worth it I'm not really impressed with the formula and again like I know with Korean Beauty Trends the eyeshadow looks tend to be a lot more light however when the actual light eyeshadows aren't showing up then I think that says a lot so again for some reason this palette and number two Coral Blossom I just didn't care for the eyeshadows themselves. Now by process of elimination, I'm sure you guys could assume that I did enjoy the Dry Blossom, which is the number four palette. Now obviously this is definitely a color family that I gravitate towards. I love these because again, they're a little bit darker so they show up on my skin tone, but for some reason the shimmers in these and the glitter in this one was really nice. Super pigmented, you can see in the B-roll that it goes on really nicely, and then I was really able to get a dramatic look from this palette, so I love this guy. I think it's a really nice color combo. Again, the mattes in this were pretty nice and blended out well. I like this one, and if you're looking to pick up a palette from this collection, because you know you gotta get a palette from this collection, I'd recommend number one and four. Now moving on to some other eye products from this collection, they relaunched or I guess repackaged their Lash Perm Volume Fix Mascara for this collection. It comes in two different shades, obviously we have the black and then this is exclusive to the Heart Blossom collection which is the shade Cherry Blossom Brown. Now I really liked this color Cherry Blossom Brown, it's a very unique and different color. I don't know if I'd wear this day to day because I think just for me, I'm an average makeup wearer. I just like my black mascara, but I actually liked the formula. Not bad, not bad for a Korean mascara. You guys, if you've watched my channel for a little bit, know I'm not a big fan of Korean or really Asian mascaras in general. These retail for about $15. So yeah, if you've tried the Volume Fix Mascara, you kind of know how these work. I mean, I don't have much to say about it because the only thing different about these mascaras for this collection is the specific color. Let's go over the two blushes of the collection. Here we have the Heart Blossom Blossom Cheeks. Now, I'm a little surprised by these two because they seem really similar to, I think it was last year's spring collection, packaging-wise even. They look pretty dang similar. So, I find that quite interesting. These retail for $10, so for a nice blush with a good size pan, I really don't think that's that bad. These have fine pearl powders in them to give them a little bit of shine, so there is a slight sheen to the finish of these blushes. Currently in this video, I'm wearing PK004 My Little Blossom, and you can see it gives you a nice flush. I can definitely see the shimmer in these as you apply them to the cheeks. And then the other color we have is the OR201 Just Clicked, which is the coral of the collection. So, I mean, they're really cute, and I like the packaging a lot, but yeah, that's pretty much it about those two. <laughs> now, last but not least, let's go over the five lipsticks of this collection, and you guys know me. I love the Tude House lipsticks, and these are definitely lovely. These retail for $12 a piece, and there are two different finishes in this collection. You have their standard Better Lips Top formula, and then you also have the Velvet formula of that. So let's go ahead and go over the Velvets 
first. Now, the thing that I really like about Etude House Velvet formulas is they're really soft and lightweight. They really are like a soft matte and they don't dry your lips out or make your lips feel overly cracked. Dusty Peach is actually the shade that I'm wearing in this video, which is kind of funny because this to me, in my opinion, is a bit more of a somewhat cool toned pink color. I don't really see the peach. Again, that they're so comfortable. I mean, I've been talking this whole time wearing one of these lipsticks and my lips feel pretty much the same as when I first applied them. And then we have the other three colors, which are their standard Better Lips Talk formula. These are highly pigmented, go on smoothly, have a little bit of a shine to them, and are just a very comfortable lipstick to wear as well. I think for $12, these lipsticks are lovely and they're comfortable to wear, they're long lasting, they make my lips look nice, and overall, I enjoy them a lot and I would recommend those from the collection. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this collection review of Etude House's new Spring Summer Heart Blossom collection. I will put links down below in the description box if you guys are curious about checking out more information of the products or picking them up. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.